today we've been working on pulling out our old radar wire. There you can see where it broke. Cable. And uh, putting in a new one. But it seems that 20 years ago, there's Sasha. 20 years ago when they stepped the mast, they tied all the cords, cables, wires, everything together down there, allowing us not to be able to, to just pull it out and attach a new one and run it again. So we've been okay, Sasha. dropping cool. pins and needles down this thing to uh, oh, run a new wire, cord, okay. cable. <laughs> so that is what we've been working on today. Hopefully we will be able to install our new one right there and wind instruments. Gonna have to drill some holes through stainless steel. This should be fun. Hey everyone, so I'm up here, Max. Just put on this new radar here. Nice, uh, nice BNG 4G, 24 inch radar dome. Um, we ran these wi these cables yesterday. You can see that? Bit of a tough time. This new cable there. The wind indicator yesterday. See it up there. But waiting. Just relax the lounge. Got my full harness on. On our trip to Marco, the bow had keeled too far over to port. This caused oil to leak from the engine and into the bilge. We cleaned it with some lime away in a shop bag, allowing the float switch to float again and the bilge to turn on when necessary. So, as you can see here, the bilge is all cleaned out in front. That's the engine. 72 horsepower, Mercedes. Diesel, big one. So what we fixed is now we can leave the bilge pump on all the time. And it will only pump out when there's enough water in the bilge. Perfect. After fixing the bilge, and installing two new displays. It's time for us <laughs> getting in our lunch meats while we can, because when we're sailing Pamas in the Caribbean, we're not gonna be getting that anymore. Mm. Previously, we had already installed the motor for our refrigeration system. And here you can see us rerunning the copper wires uh, from inside the ice box to the motor so that they are out of the way in case we needed to get to the water maker or the water pump. Once we re-ran the copper wires, we pulled them into the ice box and sealed the hole that they came through. Then we had to secure the ice maker to the inside of the ice box.
When that was done, we connected the motor to the battery and turned it on. We had to add more Freon because it had been sitting for a few years. But we had ice. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have lift off. We finally have an ice box. It's making noises, but we're not really sure how cold it's going to get. So we're going to shut it up. And hopefully in the morning, this baby will be cold. All right. Provisioning for a trip like this is very important. Once your fresh produce runs out, you're left with all your non-perishable food. Produce, as well as non-perishable items, are very expensive once you get to the Caribbean islands, so we made sure to stock up on plenty. So, while at Costco, we made sure to grab staples such as rice, pasta, canned beans, other canned items, dried fruits, snacks, paper towel, toilet paper, coffee. Also, we got plenty of beer and wine for that evening toast, as well as for trading purposes, since beer has been known to cost 50 to $60 a case. And this way, if we run out of fish or any type of provision, surely one of your neighboring boaters or a local would love to trade for a case of beer. All right, Sasha, are we ready now? I think so. Pretty much checked everything off our list. So, Oops. Uh, Final haul complete. Leaving <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> we recently ordered a spinnaker sock, which makes putting the spinnaker out and pulling it back in a lot easier. Hopefully in some future videos, we'll be able to show you guys how it's used while we're sailing. Alright, hop in. Hmm. Yay. Get in! No. Get in the water! Stop. It's sun's Stop. going down in like five minutes. <laughs> How's it look? How bad is it? As you can see here, we have our soft and bendable 160 watt solar panels that are gonna go on top of the bimini. And then we have our 100 watt solar panels, hard, that are going to be hanging on the bimini. Alrighty, so we have our Two solar panels hooked up, all tied. Everything is good. You can go. The one is back here for uh, the time being until we get it hooked up on the sides. But you can see our two solar panels on top of the bim bimini. So hopefully tomorrow we'll be getting power. This is Sasha and Natalie here. Recording from the far side, it is. Shout out to Chris. Shout out to Chris for my watch. Uh, right now it is about 10:05. Right now, just passing um, uh, Marriott Beach over at Marco. Yep, we're on our way to the U.S. The winds are about 15 to 20. Uh, we got about we got one reef in the main. We're about six knots right now.
Get it, Baba, get it, get it. Set the mast all further and not one of these up all in. Putting the sheets out, but tied down so that the mast the sheets wouldn't. Sasha coming back down. So what was the verdict? The what? Well, it was tied down, but it was like wall. Oh, right, like, but it hadn't been wedged in. No, it hadn't been wedged in. Yeah, so, so it, it just got stuck around the top of the... Top of the... Of the no, it got stuck around the top of the furler. It was wrapped around, so it wasn't. So that's why last night in heavy wind, we tried to bring it a little bit. We were fine, we just let it out. But... Hello. Hello, everybody. It's Myers from Sailing the Far Side. So in this episode, you saw that we've completed all our projects, repairs, electronics installed. Um, provisioned. Provisioned. Uh, Got everything ready for all. the trip. Yep, so now we're in Key West waiting for a weather window to cross over to the Bahamas. And we just wanted to say a special thank you to all our patrons, um, and especially David, for your contribution to our trip. It means so much to us. Uh, thank you to everybody watching and following yes. along on our trip. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, everything. everything. It's awesome. We yeah. really appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for watching our video and hope to inspire Please. others out there as well to do something the same or similar or mm -hmm. go off and have your the journey of your life yep so over and out over from, and out from the far side see you next time here we go i'm heading south for the winter house up on the deck long season thermal scarf around my neck down in the galley i got coffee on the stove gloves on the wheel steady as it goes the pine trees turn to palm, green waters turn to blue. And Get it, Scott. Cold, I'm so glad those days are through. I'm heading south for the winter. Oh, I'm heading south. No yeah. long yeah. season thermals. No yeah. stuff around my neck. All of the people 
smiles up on their face, moving right along, just at a slower pace. I'm heading south for the winter. Oh, I'm heading south. No more long sleeves and turn. No more scarf around my neck. All of the bodies lying in the sand. Deep dark tans, cold beers in their hands. I'm yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm heading south. We're getting south for the winter. All of the women, Going south. lobsters and fish. Imagine that. They're getting up my wish. I'm heading south. I'm heading south for the winter. Oh, no more long sleeves and thermals. No more scarf around my neck. We're going to make you 